West West Battle Rap family, we are back beneath the surface, episode 15. Shout out to all y'all that been rocking with me, man. I'm about to break down my second round for clean paper. Unfortunately, that battle didn't happen because he backed out on me, just like all the rest of these dudes be ducking. You know what I'm saying? But a little backstory on this battle, you know, John Doe and uh, his sister Black Ice. Shout out, shout out to the whole Black Ice cartel. This battle was special to me because this was like gonna be like one of the first battles put on Netflix. And, you know, John Doe was going to fly a film crew from New Orleans. And, uh, yeah, I don't know the exact details, but he had, like, some type of deal with them. And they were going to, we were going to film the battle, like, in a movie format. It was, like, going to be a movie. There was, we're going to shoot a scene. We're going to shoot, like, you know, scripted scenes. But then it was going to get to a point where me and Clean Paper bumped into, bumped into each other and battled. But the battle that we were going to do was, like, a real battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like... It, like no scripted battle it was us really doing our battle but within the context of a movie it was like some eight mile type of shit it was gonna be on netflix that's why i really was like in my bag for this one like i was about to really go crazy on this man clean paper man so we're gonna get into this round like i said people i'm one of the best writers this game has ever seen this is not just boastful claims we are proving it Line after line, week after week, bar after bar, man. We're going to get into it. <clears throat> I said, you're known as the greatest that ever did it. That never did it. On everything. You became Battle Raps Eddie Kane. So, like, I'm basically just telling him, you know, you have all this potential in the world to be, like, one of the greatest. But, you're like, Earl Manigo, like, you can be the greatest, but just shit happen and you don't. Drugs, basically, drugs fucked him up, man. That's how I feel, man. Um, you're known as the greatest that ever did it. That never did it on everything. You became Battle Raps Eddie Kane. I'm in deadly range. About to show this whole nigga how I do. I'll expose his brain capacity soon as I IQ. Brain capacity, IQ. Clean, I IQ, y'all. They say all I got is balls. Delivery sucks. That's quite true. I should dumb it down and rap a little more retarded like you. But what I do, took it up a step like I'm 5'2". Plus I value nine meals like me and my kids at the drive-thru. I slide through. How about the... So we're going to... Look. Now I value nine meals like me and my kids at the drive-thru. So you know, y'all, I got ten kids. And I like value meal, nine, nine meals at the drive-thru. I got to order nine different meals for the kids. Uh, and I value nine millimeters, so that's the the double on times on that on that. You know what I mean? But what I do, took it up a step, like I'm five two. Plus I value nine meals, like me and my kids at the drive through. I'll slide through, hop out the whip, me and the homie squeeze. I usually don't respond to scrubs like this sporty thieves. But if these straps don't put you to sleep. Then it's gonna be these. His fans been addicted to clean since his old CDs. All right. So I just said I usually don't respond to scrubs like the sporty thieves. So you know, uh, TLC dropped the song I don't want no scrub, and then the sporty thieves they responded with uh, uh, their song that they have. I forgot what it's called. I don't want no chicken head or whatever it was. Sporty thieves. So that's that reference. Uh, if these straps don't put you to sleep, then it's gonna be these. His fans been addicted to clean since his old CDs. Old CD, old his old CDs. Uh, been addicted to clean. Wordplay. Y'all fuck with me. People criticize me because I don't do personals. But I was taught you never bring your home problems to work with you. I watch you battle SM. You was doing good, then things got hard for you. You started to choke, then the other QP finished the bars for you. How could he have known where you was at and was about to finish? Could it be that it was actually he who really jot them lyrics? Why didn't he just transfer them rhymes into your head telepathically since he calls himself quantum physics? I am apocalyptic. So, quantum physics, you know, dealing with just different dimensions and, and, and things that we we don't quite understand, y'all already know. And I'm like, damn, like, this nigga choking, but then he come in and finish 
the bars for him, and y'all can check that out. Uh, Clean Paper versus Esm. That's E S E M. Uh, he's choking, and then Quantum Physics come in and rap finish the round for him like they wrote it together. And I always thought that was fishy, and why nobody ever called that out? Like that nigga wrote the shit for you. He know he he know exactly what you have to say. So he I clearly Quantum Physics wrote that round for uh, Clean Paper, and I just was calling that shit out, man. And I'm like. Why didn't he just transfer them rhymes into your head telepathically since he calls himself quantum physics? I am apocalyptic, a doctrine gifted under God's permission. Is God forbidden to reveal my final image without consequences? Like, you don't see nobody rapping like that. You don't see Tay Rock doing that. You don't see Charlie Clips doing that. You don't see nobody rapping that type of shit. I am apocalyptic, a doctrine gifted under God's permission. It's God forbidden to reveal my final image without consequences. I got this kind of sickness that'll, that'll make me pay my own mom a visit. Ask her what time is it, then stick a knife right inside her mind and twist it. My mind is twisted. Since a youth has been crime inflicted, I'll take a bath in your daughter's blood to Nirvana lyrics. You want this drama, nigga? Dog, uh, I'm talking some twisted shit. I'm talking about... Stabbing a knife in my own mom head, mom, twisting a knife, taking a bath in his daughter's blood into no, playing Nirvana lyrics. Like, I was on some some demented, like, dark shit. Like, this is how bad I want to kill this dude. You feel me? Like, I was on some deep shit. You want this drama, nigga? I didn't think so. Go ahead and blink, ho. I'll split you in half, turn you into a duplicate in front of Kinko's. Even if y'all do write together... It's still gonna be the wackest sound cause both QPs together don't deserve half a pound. I'm on a different scale. Even if y'all do write together, it's still gonna be the wackest sound cause both QPs together don't deserve half a pound. So you got quarter pound, quarter pound, of course, two QPs make a half a pound. And I'm just like, y'all don't deserve half a pound. Like, y'all don't get Y'all niggas can write together and still you won't get not one bit of props from me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on a different scale. You peep the segue. That I call those like trap door bars. Like uh, I, I'm talking about a scale. So both both QPs together don't deserve half a pound. So obviously I'm talking about dope and dealing with work. Then I, then I go into I'm on a different scale. So right after that I bring the scale and that's crazy. And, I, and what I mean there lyrically I'm just on a whole different scale than these guys. I'm on a different scale. If I run up on you, I'm trying to kill you. I hope you doing the same, because if I'm around the arm, I don't want to shoot it in vain. Crazy. If I run up on you, I'm trying to kill you. I hope you doing the same, because if I'm around the arm, I don't want to shoot it in vain. I'm around the arm. I don't want to shoot it in vain. Come on, bro. Like. If I'm trying to shoot y'all, I'm trying to kill you. If I'm shooting at you, I'm trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Then also the double entendre on that is the, the heroin use. Oh, okay, so we're going to keep going. QP. You know what drugs do to your brain? For starters, you joined R3, now you move with those lanes. So y'all kill crews now, that's cool. But it can't be ours. You sniff dope, pop pills, then come up with all these zany bars. <sighs> Fucking fire, dog. I'm really what. I swear, man. You know what? You kill crews now? That's cool. It can't be ours. You sniff dope, pop pills, and come up with all these zany bars. Brutal tactics. Ruthless savage. Come with the Ruger Maddox. I'll put some extra shit in this roof. That's what you do to addicts. Ah! 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 Go! I'm fucking go. What? Come on now. Brutal tactics. Ruthless Savage, come with the Ruger Matic. I'll put some extra shit in your roof. That's what you do to addicts. Wordplay, double entendre. Put extra shit in the roof. That's what you do to addicts. Put some ex Then I'm calling them a drug addict. Then I'm talking about the addicts. And, ah, I'm boy. Boy, these niggas can't fuck with me. He was going to die in that battle. He would have been on Netflix dying right now. That's fucking crazy. All right, uh, the mean fifth of spray. I'm not letting clean get away. Ironically, I'm going to kill him and make a clean getaway. Quite the professional. 
I'm from where niggas might hear the voices of their father, but don't see their face like a confession, though. Nigga. I'm from where niggas might hear the voices of their father, but don't see their face like a confession. Double, double the, the metaphor on that. The metaphor on that. That's that's not a punchline. That's not a simile. That's the metaphor for, you know, children, black kids in the hood. Uh, you know, they might, daddy might call. Oh, your daddy on the phone. Hey, dad. Hey, son, I'm going to come see you. I'm going to come pick you up. Okay. And then daddy never come. You know what I'm saying? But never see their faces like a confessional. Of course, you already know how that go. I'm Sidney Portier with Portier. That's one of my favorite lines of all time that I wrote, too. Like, then I explained it. I'm Sidney Portier with Portier. In other words, black man on screen dope. Ah, yes. This large tech is a small check. What I'm saying is I'm about to get clean smoked. Fire. And even though he on the ground with this shit, the swag can see got a whole nother round of this shit. I'm Sidney Portier with imported yay. In other words, black man on screen dope. Okay, so, wow, just a, that's deep. That's just too many different things going on right there. So, of course, Sidney Portier, famous black actor, one of the first famous black actors in Hollywood. And then I'll say, I'm, I'm Sidney Portier with imported yay. In other words, black man on screen dope. So, black man, Sidney Portier on screen, okay, and then I'm a battle rapper, I'm, black, I'm a black man that's on these Netflix cameras on screen, and I'm dope. Sidney Portier with Portier. In other words, black man on screen, dope. Ah, yes, this large tech is a smog check. What I'm saying is I'm about to get clean smoked. Clean paper dodge a certain death. He dodged a certain death. Every round was fatal. Every round was fatal. My first, my second, my third round was fatal. If y'all want to hear all the bars, just y'all. If you already subscribed to this channel, just type in uh, Danny Myers clean paper throwaway rounds, and you'll hear all three rounds. That they, they all was crazy. Yeah, this is one of my favorite rounds from that. Uh, from those three. Yeah, that was supposed to be on Netflix, man. So. That nigga dropped the ball big time, man. Niggas a cornball. That's what you get when you're dealing with drug heads, though. But anyway, I'm the fucking GOAT. If you want to donate to your man, we are, my uh, PayPal description is in the, the link below. Me and my cousin Matthew, we're going to keep this bro shit going, man. Check out our, our Summer Madness uh, edition. You know what I mean? We're going to keep it going every week. Those will be dropping on Fridays. And part two will be dropping tomorrow so uh check that one out of our summer madness recap uh a lot a lot of controversy this week you know what i'm saying niggas was mad that i wasn't on summer madness they was like yo how these niggas come to vegas don't book danny on the car and then look what happened summer madness seven flop i do i do feel for the organization because they was i feel like they was played and these guys played themselves and the more you know they played y'all you know most importantly you know what I mean? Like, y'all got played out y'all money. People that paid for the pay-per-view, 50 bucks. People that came to the venue, paid $100. They, 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 uh, you know, they got cheated, man. You don't, you don't do people like that. But, you know, and, and you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Two years ago, one year ago, six months ago, six days ago, niggas was like, we don't want to see no fucking Danny Myers on Sir Man. We don't want to see Danny on Sir Nah, fuck that. He's, he's, a, he's a small small name. He's, he don't sell tickets. He's a, he's a mid-tier. I go to a Summer Madness. This is the second one I attended. I was at Summer Madness for. But I go to a Summer Madness. Everybody in the building is like, please tell me you're on the card. Please tell me you're the surprise battle. And I'm like, ah, nah, I'm not on the card. So, shout out to everybody that, that wanted to see me on Summer Madness. Look what happened when y'all don't put the fucking bar guy. If y'all niggas want bars, y'all want guaranteed bars, just fuck with the niggas that actually do the bar shit. But we're going to see y'all next Monday for another episode. Like I said, keep rocking with me. We need the service. We're going to keep this shit going. I got a lot more content coming to the channel. Please subscribe, share, like, comment. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep this shit going. What's up, Battle Rap family?